What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Abby and I are here at the store, and uh, one guy has come in so far. He bought a couple Wii remotes, um, but it's only 11:20, so um, just opened not too long ago. Um, Abby is going to be kind of running the front. You can call it front of house, I suppose, today. And I'm going to try to be working on the back here and try to get this all cleaned up and everything. Um, doesn't look any different from last time you guys saw it. Still no fridge, but um, I do want to get that all set up and organized and, you know, turn it into the usable space that it's supposed to be um, so I can start working on the eBay and Amazon stuff a bit more. And so that's my plan for today. Hopefully we get some, you know, decent amount of customers, although it is a Tuesday. Don't expect it to be crazy, but uh, you never know. And then we just got a call from a guy who he, <laughs> Abby answered first and then she handed it to me. And I'm assuming he said the same thing to her because her face was puzzled. But he's like, hi, my name's John. I'm a 73-year-old man and I used to sell at flea markets and antique shows and all this stuff. And I got a bunch of... I don't know what you sell at your store, but I got some stuff you might be interested in. And he has like a, he has a bunch of comic books. He has like some movie like buttons or pins. He said he has like 4,000 of those. Um, he said he has some Star Wars action figures and some Star Trek stuff. He's got like a Beavis and Butthead little toy. Um, he's got like a Doctor Who book that has filled with autographs and pictures and stuff from like the 70s, which sounds really cool. Um, I know someone who'd probably be interested in that, our friend Stefan. Um, but yeah, I think that David and I, my friend David and I, are going to go tomorrow and check all that stuff out. I want to take David with me because David might be interested in the comic books because I'm not, but David is also really, really good with toys, and he can tell me he can tell me what the toy is, you know, what toy line it's from, the name of the toy. He can tell me what I should pay for it. He, should, he can tell me what it's worth. And he can do all that stuff off the top of his head, which I cannot do. So that makes it a lot easier for me when I'm trying to buy toys. Um, so I don't have to look everything up on the spot. So um, tomorrow the store is closed, so that makes it a perfect time for us to be able to go. Um, and he lives downtown Vancouver, so it's not even that far. So... Look forward to that. Hopefully it all works out. Um, I'm supposed to be calling the guy tomorrow and letting him know what time we want to head out there. I'm basically just dependent on the time that David can go because he does have work. He works graveyard, so he gets off at like 11 or something, and we might just be able to go after then. The guy said anytime after 10 a.m. is fine. So look forward to that, and I'll let you guys know if anything comes in today. All right, guys, got a trade in here to show you. Today's sales have been decent so far, which is pretty good. Um, if you include the trade credit that people have spent, we've almost hit the goal already, and it's only 12.27, so we're doing good. But here we have a Perfect Dark, Super Mario RPG, and a complete Killer Instinct Gold. So I have this game at home already, but my box is really beat up, so I'm going to take the better condition pieces of both of them, put them together, keep those, the rest will come to the store. Then. I'm keeping both of these as well. We got the Nintendo 64 travel case, brand new in the box. Very, very cool. Um, this is really hard to find a value on because there's only one posted for like $280 or something, That's which Canadian. seems ridiculous um, and none sold. The bag, the cheapest bag by itself is 30. So um, don't know what it's worth, but I'm keeping it anyway. So it doesn't really matter. And then also the arcade shark um, arcade stick for the N64 complete in box as well. This is a third party accessory, which I normally would not keep, but the reason I'm keeping it is because Nintendo did not release an official arcade stick. So if you want an arcade stick for the system, this is your only option. And since it's complete in box, I'm going to keep it. So that's everything that's come in so far. Abby's looking at trying to get some uh, controllers and stuff for systems we need. So good day so far. So today has been way better for sales, guys. Today has been better than Saturday. I wouldn't say Saturday and Sunday combined, but um, it's been pretty good. Um, we got one other trade-in that I haven't shown yet. We got South Park Rally and Warpath Jurassic Park disc only uh, for PS1 came in. But those are all the trades. Um, so I did want to show you guys what I've done with the back room. Abby got our little Christmas tree set up, and uh, it... 
if I can get the cable. It lights up, of course. Um, so we're go we're gonna continue decorating it. We don't have enough stuff for it yet. Um, I got our last little double jump sticker here that we got from the guy who made our sign. Got that cut out and put on the file cabinet there because there's nowhere else for it to go. And then take a look at the back room. Looks a little more set up, right? So got that shelf put together. And then there, uh, I scootered it over just enough so that I could stack the peanuts in the corner. It doesn't really make sense to have the shelf go all the way back into the corner because I won't be able to get to it. Um, got this little thing here, got the desk kind of cleaned off, and then I got this other one here. Um, other than that, none of this other stuff has really been taken care of yet, but I'm working on it. So that's good. This will, you know, it's already pretty much set up now for me to work on eBay and Amazon stuff. It just is a matter of actually doing it. Um, I think before I jump into doing all that kind of stuff, though, I do want to get this room finished. Uh, we still have all the eBay stuff in our garage at home, which... I'm bringing um, so I don't know exactly when we're gonna get around to that but um, there's like bookshelves in the garage with inventory which I was gonna put on this wall here um, possibly move some other stuff around and figure it out if they won't all fit there I know that they won't all fit there but um, at least two of them will fit right there um, but yeah I probably don't need all the all of the bookshelves because I'm going to be way more picky on the items that I'm getting for eBay. So storage won't be as big of an issue as it has been in the past. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Still working on it, of course. Abby just went to uh, Burger King. She she left earlier and went to uh, Fred Meyer, and she got like a, a baked chicken and some cauliflower rice for her. Um, and I had a couple turkey sandwiches that I made this morning, but I ate those when I was really hungry. So she was nice enough to run to, um, to run to Burger King and get me a chicken sandwich. Um, so that's what's going on right now. I'll of course let you know if anything else changes, but, um, like I said, sales have been good today. We just haven't gotten a lot of trades, which is honestly a good thing. Um, so we're just going to keep, you know, keep doing what we're doing. It's 4.51, so we have plenty of hours left in the day, and I'll let you guys know if anything else happens. Abby's playing some Switch. What are you playing? Scram. Scram? Has it been a good day? Yeah. Yeah? Cha-ching. We did pretty good in sales. Not amazing, but way better than the rest of the weekend. Got our tree with the topper going you know, being a little peach figure, the tree going up her dress. That's normal. <clears throat> I don't know if the back room here is going to look any different than the last time I showed it, but um, I went through the whole box here of stuff that is going into my collection, and I got it all put into the spreadsheet. And right now, I'm working on converting some, some of those uh, pickup video files that Richard was able to save which is super cool um but yeah so pretty good day um we got about what time is it uh 15 more minutes so we got 15 more minutes before closing i highly doubt anyone else is going to come in um and we're closed tomorrow so we have some plans for tomorrow so should be a cool vlog for you guys here's our tree with peach and then two ornaments yeah. Ab abby gave up what kind of... Don't zoom in on my face. I'm just making it so people can see you. What kind of company sells Christmas ornaments and they don't put Christmas ornament hangers in it? Are you kidding me? Who Target? knows? I got a fight to pick with you. But I had a Patreon supporter ask... Uh, I believe his name was Tom. He was asking if... I could show some stuff in the store whenever it's kind of slow, and it's kind of slow, so I figured I'd go through and just show you guys some of the 3DS games here, and I think he was asking because he might be interested in some stuff, so I'm not going to just show everything in one day, but I'll show you guys the 3DS and DS games we have currently with the original cases, with a lot of brain age. 
But if you guys are interested in any of these, they, you know, of course they're available. We can always ship as long as you're willing to pay the shipping cost and you can pay with PayPal. But this is what we have with the cases and man, some of them don't have manuals, of course, but, um, you know, best way to get a hold of me if you're interested in making a purchase or anything is uh, the Double Jump Video Games Facebook or Instagram. Uh, Facebook is probably better than Instagram, but there you go. A few PSP games, nothing great. This one here also. Dreamcast stuff, not that many, lots of sports games. And then on the very bottom is PSP. So like I said, if any of you guys are interested in any of these, feel free to contact me, preferably on Facebook, um, the Double Jump Facebook, or Instagram, and we can make something happen. But, yep, about to close, so if anything else happens, I'll let you guys know, but I highly doubt it. So, um, pretty good day though, I'm happy. Abby got some stuff cleaned up out here, and I got some of the empty cases a little bit more organized and everything. Um, so yeah, that's where we are, and see you guys in a bit. We're leaving the store now, guys, heading home. Abby's coming with me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no one else came in or anything, so um, we gathered up everything that we're taking home, all the stuff that's been sitting here in a box that's going into the collection that is just... I haven't done anything with until today. Finally got it all into the spreadsheet. I finished it, uh, so we're taking that home. There's only a few things left at home that I haven't put in the spreadsheet. So most of it's good to go now, which is really awesome. I'm going to try to work on the last pickup video that got corrupt. Um, I was converting the files. I did one of them here. I'm gonna try to do the rest at home and hopefully get that up very soon. And uh, probably next Wednesday, uh, if unless we're doing something else, I could probably film the next one. So that'll be super awesome. Hope you guys are excited for that. I know there's a lot of new people to the channel who don't even know what my pickup videos are, but that is what my channel was for about eight years before I started doing vlogs. So pickup videos are basically just showing the new things that I've added to my video game collection, just going through telling the stories about where they came from or what I paid for them or just anything like that. Um, they tend to be very long because I show a ton of stuff, um, but you know, if you're into that, then hopefully you'll enjoy. And if not, there's always going to be a vlog. So we're heading home now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below and subscribe, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow.